In Airborne Oil & Gas, we are proud to have supplied the world's first composite flow line for hydrocarbon service to Petronas. Petronas approached us for two main reasons. One, they wanted to have a solution to their corrosion problem using non-metallic pipe. And two, in TCP, thermoplastic composite pipe, they saw a great opportunity to lower their cost. Airborne Oil & Gas, as the world's first and leading manufacturer of TCP, was a logical choice for them to work with. In working with Petronas, as well as our other clients around the globe, we found that TCP can significantly reduce total installed cost for jumper, flow line and riser applications. On this particular project, we proved that the TCP flow line can reduce the project cost by 30%, even when being compared to carbon steel. This is achieved by lowering of the transportation cost, lower installation cost through smaller vessels, and lower pipe cost when being compared to flexible pipe. When we started this project, there was no specific code or standard for thermoplastic composite pipe. So together with the technical experts from Petronas, we defined an extensive qualification program based on API 15S. The program included extensive material testing, full-scale testing and installation trials. The full-scale test program included all tests from API 15S plus several additional tests such as jet fire testing, erosion testing and severe impact testing. Today we have the recommended practice F119 written specifically for TCP for offshore applications. So recently we asked DNV to compare the qualification program we performed to the requirements from the new recommended practice. They concluded that the design was done according to the recommended practice and that the extensive qualification program indeed covered all requirements from the new recommended practice. This is a huge compliment to the experts from Petronas involved in defining the qualification program and also evidence that TCP is fully qualified for hydrocarbon service. We looked at two installation methods. The first was horizontal lay, whereby TCP is pulled off a reel and laid directly onto the seabed. And the second was the tow-out method, whereby TCP is prepared on or near shore uh, and pulled to location by tugboats and lowered to the seabed. Although both installation methods uh, showed significant cost savings, for this project we chose the tow-out method. In preparation for the installation, several on-bottom stability methods were developed, tested and assessed, and installation trials were conducted in the South China Sea. These trials were successful and lessons learned were used for the pilot itself. The installation campaign started with preparing the iTube sections. The TCP uh, was pulled through the iTubes and terminated on location with our end fittings and bend restrictors. The beauty of our end fitting concept is that we can terminate the TCP at any location, horizontally or vertically, in just a matter of hours. Simultaneously, the long flow line section was prepared at a near shore location where we efficiently integrated the on-bottom stability solutions as well as the buoyancy elements to allow the flow line to float during the tow to the offshore location. The benefit of the tow-out method is that the complete length of flow line can be prepared in a low cost but highly controlled environment. The tow itself was performed by two small tugboats and took only a couple of hours. At location, the buoyancy elements were removed quickly, lowering the flow line to the seabed. Finally, after successful pre-commissioning, the flow line was put into surface and is flowing with crude oil. 